Hi guys, it's Connie, and welcome to Witchcrafting. I am your hostess on Fridays. Um, I did a really simple, <laughs> again, project. Um, I've just been super swamped, and I promise they'll get better. Um, but this one is pretty simple, and I I love it because I'm kind of a kitchen witch. So, all you do, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm sideways, sorry guys. Um, it is a... Mabon or Mabon spoon. What you do is you just get a wooden spoon. I got mine at um, Walmart for like two bucks. Um, I painted it with uh, brown paint and then I took, um, let me grab it real quick. Okay. I took some of my Inca Gold, um, it's like a pasty paint. Um, you can use any kind of glitter, or you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. I just liked the sparkly and um, almost like a distressed look. Um, as you can see, you can kind of see it around here, and you can kind of see the sparkles. Um, so I, I took that and I put it around the spoon. And then um, I took some ribbon and just kind of spiraled it up the um, handle of the spoon and I think I got mine at uh, Joann's and I think it was like a dollar so it's really cheap and then I um, just took um, at Walmart I don't know if they probably have at craft stores too they have this bag of like little tiny pumpkins and acorns and they're only 98 cents for the whole bag so I got one of those and I glued and I, I used hot glue on most of these um, of everything that I put on here um, and then I had put a little acorn there and then um, at sorry trying to grab it here with one hand it's really hard oh jeez <laughs> okay here we go at Joann's they had this whole bag of little tiny um, like pine cones and it was like two bucks and if you use a coupon you know 50% off coupon it's only a dollar and it's a whole bag of itty bitty little tiny pine cones and I just put it right there and then if you can see back there right there is um I just had this little like star embellishment I just put it on there cuz you know you gotta have it had to witchify it um, and then at Walmart they had these little like dried leaf things and again they're only 98 cents for the whole bag so I put those right here and my hands are yellow yes because I dyed some things <laughs> and then um, I also got the uh, flowers you can get those also at any craft store at or at Walmart for like a dollar and I just hot glued it all on to the thing. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job at covering that up, but that's okay. <laughs> and then what I did is um, hot glue and stones don't really mix very well. Um, I mean, you can do it, but I prefer to use just a regular glue. Um, I used glossy accents because it um, dries really clear. So, um, I use that, but you can use any kind of glue. And I just glued on some stones. And I used my little stone chips right here, carnelians, except for the one right in the middle, right there. I used a citrine, because if you all know me, I love my citrine. <laughs> and then all I did is I took some ribbon um, it can be any kind of ribbon I just use this like grungy looking orange and brown ribbon I don't know if you guys can see that very well sorry and I just glued it on there as you can see and then I glued a tiny little acorn or not acorn but a uh, pine cone on top of the thing and it's a pretty long one um, you guys have to excuse the mess in the background here. As you can see, it kind of dangles like this. Or, you know, if you have a way to drill a hole, you can um, put it through and then have it like a, um, a loop or hoop that you can hang it up if you would like. 
<clears throat> excuse me. And then all I did was, now you guys do not have to do this unless you're a crafter like me. <laughs> um, I embossed this part right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but see how glittery and kind of raised it is? I kind of messed up right there, but that's okay. Um, I just embossed it on here and I just um, wrote with an embossing um, ink pen. And then I put the embossing powder on and then I heated it up. Again, you can just take a Sharpie and or paint and just doodle on it if you would like. And then I just kind of doodled a little tiny pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty glittery. But I put a little tiny pumpkin on there just, you know, just because I felt like it. <laughs> I am no artiste when it comes to drawing or writing. But, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Um, it's pretty cheap. Um, you know, you can use real leaves if you want. You can use real ac um, acorns and stuff that you find uh, outside. I mean, again, like I always say, imagination, just let it go wild. Um, you know, you can pick up some of these wood spoons at like thrift stores for probably 10, 15 cents. Um, you know, you might even have an old one in your kitchen. You, know, I, you don't even have to use a wooden spoon. You can also use... Um, uh, what are those things called? Oh, total blank. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I can't think of what they're called. But anyways, yes, use your imagination. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's late and I'm pretty tired. But, um, yeah, so there is my craft for this week. Um, next week will be a better one. Like I said, it's just been pretty hectic here and I just haven't had time to really do some of the bigger crafts that I've been wanting to, but they will be done, I promise. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all have a very blessed night, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!